Hey GBA, and welcome to Spooky Chronicles with Big Tim. Before I get started with the spooky fairy tales from the netherworlds, I want to introduce this game. It is Dungeons and Dragons Daggerdale, and I'm like doing a like a wave challenge, and then I'm fighting the Dark Lord. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. This game is awesome. Um, so back to the story, the spooky times. Um, me and one of my roommates, Jeremy, who's also he's also Native American. You know, one night we get done with class, we decided to go out to have a couple beers at the bar, drinking and stuff, and then we go back to uh, to our apartment. So we're there sitting, playing zombies, and freaking drinking a couple beers, past the stories, telling about, you know, his life on the reservation, all the spirits going on, and, you know, me too, and telling about some of my creepy stuff. You know, I'm kind of spooking each other out, we're getting a little, a little scared there, you know, here and there, because we started acting like, st started, like, hearing and seeing things, you know, we just acted like, oh, it's just in our head, you know, so whatever. And then probably, like, a little bit through the, the, the late night, all of a sudden, one of our doors slammed, boom, like, what the hell is going on? Get up, look through down the hallway, and uh, his door's shut. I'm like, what the hell? You know, we usually we usually leave our doors open. You know, when we're all home, you know, we don't close anything. We usually just leave our doors open and whatever. So, we're like, whatever. It's probably just the wind or AC probably turned on and sucked it down. I don't know. But uh, so we go back to playing our games and telling our stories and stuff. And we were just drunk by this time. So we're like, you know, I just, just call it quits. Pass out. Ooh, ooh, that was gross. Uh, pass out and. Uh, continue this later on. He's like, alright, cool. So, go and pass out and I'm sleeping, you know, I'm having a good dream about the Playboy Mansion and everything rolling around, having my fun, and all of a sudden BAM! My door swings open and I roll over, I'm like, what the fuck? And Jeremy's just standing in my doorway, like all hunched over and shit. I was like, Jeremy? Jeremy, what are you doing? He's just standing there looking at me and it looked like there was something in his hand. There might have been, there might have not have been, I don't know, I was kind of drunk still a little bit, but uh, who knows. I'm like, hey, Jeremy, Jeremy, what are you doing? He just sits there staring at me, and all of a sudden, he, he laughs. He's like, <laughs> I was like, Jeremy. He runs over to the bathroom, turns the light on, he starts using the restroom, he doesn't even freaking shut the door or anything. I just hear him tinkling on the toilet, hitting the seat a little bit. I get up, walk to the doorway. I was going to go out in the hallway, but then I was kind of like, ah, I don't know, I don't want to I don't want to have to fight this dude, you know, he's, he's a little bit bigger than me, and so I, I, I could have taken him, but with the spirits on his side, you know, being possessed and stuff like that, who knows, who knows what I was up against. So I stayed there and said, hey, Jeremy, you all right, bro? Everything cool? And he just kind of, like, slides right through the hallway and into his room, shuts the door, and that was it. I was like, what the hell is going on, man? I, my head's hurting, fucking tired, drunk. I was like, you know what, whatever. Shut the door, locked it, grabbed my laundry basket, and I put it in front of the door. I was like, all right, hey, if this is still here in the morning, it wasn't a dream. B, if he actually tries to do that again, he won't actually be able to open it all the way. Cause I had a lot of clothes, it was a dirty time. I, I didn't do laundry for like almost a week straight. Fucking school is kicking my butt. So anyways, enough of that. So, uh, go back to sleep, you know. I wasn't having a dream about the Playboy match anymore. I wasn't having a dream about ghosts raping my face. And... All of a sudden, I hear boom, boom, it's like stuff hitting the walls and stuff. I was like, what the hell? It's like 4 o'clock in the morning, I get up, I move my basket, I slowly open my door, and there's a knife in my in uh, Jeremy's door. And I was all like, what the hell is there a knife in this? It's, it's, it's like in the side, you know, where the doorknob is, and you can like put it in the little side. Of it. I don't know what you call the little side of the door is, but it wasn't like in the door, it's just on the side of it. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I look in the bathroom, there's no one there, the lights on, no one's in there. I look down to our living room, and it's just all dark, I couldn't see anything. So I was like, hey Jeremy, you in your room? You know, I just wanted to see if he was in his room. If he wasn't, then I have to get ready for a fight. And I look around, all of a sudden I see Jeremy walk in the hallway. He stops, I stop, and I look at him, like, dude, what's going on? He's like, oh, I was getting ready for work, and I must have locked my room. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, I never locked my room. I always just go in and go come back out, put my shoes on, I'm gone. I was like, hmm, that's freaking weird. He's like, yeah, and I was trying to pop it open. You know, you put a knife in and pop it open or whatever, and I couldn't do it, so I was going to try to find something else. I was like, I was like oh, all right, well, I'll pop that open for you, bro. No worries. He's like, okay. You know, as I'm putting the knife in the doorway, I'm thinking to myself, man, what the hell is going on here? He's probably going to attack me. He probably, like, demon switched over to regular Jeremy, and then as soon as I'm getting ready to pop on the door, he's going to put me in a headlock, pass me out, and then maybe, like, cut me open or something. I don't know. So I'm popping open the door. I open the door, and I'm looking in his room, and I'm like, Jeremy, dude, what the hell is going on, dude? Why are all of our shoes in your room? He's like, I don't know, man. I was just freaking getting ready for work, and now I gotta go. I gotta go, dude. I'm running behind. I was like, dude, all of our shoes in her in her room. And he's like, no, they're not. And uh, 
our other roommate, he he did he doesn't like shoes on the carpet or anything like that. So the whole point of was to take our shoes off before we get in the house and put them in a little shoe cubby that we have right next to the door. And he's standing there, and he looks at the cubby, and he's all like, oh, none of our shoes are in the cubby. And I, yeah, they're all in your fucking room, bro. So he comes over and looks, and all of our shoes are piled up in this freaking bed and on the floor and everything. He's freaking out. I haven't told him about what just happened, what happened, you know, a little bit ago, because I don't want to freak him out even more before he gets to work. So I just let, let it be. You know, I grabbed all the shoes. I put them back in. I shut his door. I slept in the living room for the rest of the night. I turned on the light in the living room cuddled up with my little panda and I said fuck this shit dude I am not going to sleep but yeah then uh he gets off of work he's coming home and I tell him about the whole the whole story and everything like that first he didn't believe it but after a while you know he kind of kind of came to he's like uh ah, that seems like something would happen you know especially after the night we were talking about all the spirits and everything like that but Man, was I, I was freaking freaked out, man. I did not have a clue what was going on. I mean, I've done, I've encountered spirits like that before and stuff like that, but not in somebody else's body or whatever. I mean, not, he might have just been sleepwalking. It could have been something else, but I don't know. It was freaking me out. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my little spooky story, my little spooky fairy tale, and I hope you guys liked it. All right, check you guys out later.